Welcome to Celestial Chronicles. Today, we're diving into the fascinating history of headscarves and veiling practices. Throughout history, clothing has been much more than just a way to protect ourselves from the elements. It's been a symbol of status, a part of religious rituals, and a way to express our identities. In this video, we'll explore how veiling has evolved from ancient times to the present, focusing on its cultural and sociological aspects. Have you ever wondered why certain cultures place such significance on veiling? Or how ancient practices have influenced modern-day traditions? Stick around, because we're about to uncover the intriguing stories behind these customs. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with our latest explorations into historical and cultural phenomena. Let's start our journey in ancient Sumer, one of the earliest known civilizations. Sumerians had an advanced social structure and a rich belief system. Here, veiling was not just about fashion, it was a powerful symbol of one's status. In ancient Sumer, your clothing and how you wore it could tell others a lot about who you were. Imagine living in a society where strict dress codes determined your social rank. Breaking these dress codes had severe consequences. It wasn't just a matter of fashion faux pas, it could lead to serious repercussions. Why do you think societies impose such strict regulations on what people can wear? Could it be about maintaining order, or perhaps reinforcing social hierarchies? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Moving on, we see similar practices in ancient civilizations like Babylonia and Greece. These societies also used clothing and veiling to distinguish social classes and convey religious meanings. In temples, veiling played a significant role, particularly in the context of religious rituals. One interesting aspect is the concept of sacred prostitution where priestesses would wear veils as part of their religious duties. This practice might seem strange to us today, but it was an integral part of their spiritual and social lives. What do you think about the use of veiling in religious rituals? Does it add a layer of sanctity, or could it be seen as a means of control? Let us know what you think. As we move forward in time, we see the influence of these ancient practices on the Abrahamic religions. Judaism, for instance, adopted and adapted these veiling customs. The evolution of veiling within Jewish culture is a fascinating journey, showing how historical practices can persist and transform over time. It's intriguing to see how traditions are passed down and adapted by different cultures and religions. How do you think ancient practices continue to shape our modern customs? Can you think of any examples in your own culture or religion? Now, let's turn our attention to the Roman era. In Roman society, clothing and veiling customs were still very much about indicating status. The continuity of veiling as a symbol of rank and respectability is evident. As Christianity began to spread, these customs were incorporated into early Christian norms, further embedding veiling in the religious and social fabric of the time. What does this tell us about the power of tradition? Why do you think certain customs endure while others fade away? Share your insights with us. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of veiling practices. We've seen how something as simple as a piece of cloth can carry deep cultural, social, and religious significance. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Celestial Chronicles. Join the conversation in the comments, and let's keep exploring these fascinating topics together. Now, let's delve deeper into the history and significance of veiling in ancient Sumer. The Sumerians, who thrived around 4500 BCE, had one of the earliest and most advanced civilizations. They built cities, developed writing, and established intricate social structures. In this context, veiling became a significant practice, especially for women of higher status. In Sumer, wearing a veil was a privilege reserved for noble women and priestesses. It was a visible marker of their elevated social standing. Imagine walking through the bustling streets of a Sumerian city, you could instantly recognize someone's rank by their attire. This strict dress code reinforced social hierarchies, ensuring everyone knew their place in society. But what happened if someone defied these dress codes? The consequences were severe. A common woman who dared to veil herself, thereby pretending to be of higher status, could face harsh punishments. This strict enforcement ensured that social boundaries remained clear and unchallenged. Do you think such rigid dress codes helped maintain order, or did they merely reinforce inequality? How do modern dress codes compare to these ancient practices? Let's discuss. Moving from Sumer to Babylonia, we find that veiling continued to play a crucial role in social and religious life. In Babylonia, veiling was not just about status, it also had deep religious significance. Priestesses in temples wore veils as part of their religious duties, and the practice of sacred prostitution involved veiled priestesses who engaged in ritualistic sexual acts believed to ensure fertility and prosperity for the community. This might seem surprising to us today. 
but it highlights how intertwined clothing and religious practices were in ancient societies. The veil, in this context, symbolized both sanctity and a connection to the divine. What do you think about the use of veiling in such rituals? Does it change your perspective on the practice, or does it raise more questions about the role of clothing in religion? As we journey further, we arrive at ancient Greece. Here, veiling was also a part of daily life and carried various connotations. Greek women of high status wore veils to signify their modesty and respectability. The veil was both a protective garment and a symbol of a woman's virtue and social standing. Greek literature and art from this period frequently depict women veiled in public, underscoring the practice's importance. These depictions provide valuable insights into how ancient Greeks viewed gender and social roles. How do you think the perception of veiling in ancient Greece compares to that in Sumer and Babylonia? What similarities and differences stand out to you? Let's talk about it in the comments. Now, let's explore the influence of these ancient veiling practices on the Abrahamic religions. Judaism, for example, adopted veiling customs, which evolved over time. In early Jewish culture, veiling was a sign of a woman's piety and modesty. This tradition has persisted in various forms through the centuries. The evolution of veiling within Jewish culture shows how historical practices can be adapted to fit new religious and social contexts. For instance, Orthodox Jewish women today may cover their hair with scarves, hats, or wigs, maintaining a tradition that dates back thousands of years. What does this continuity tell us about the power of tradition and religious customs? Do you think such practices are essential for maintaining cultural identity, or can they sometimes be restrictive? Share your thoughts. As we move into the Roman era, we see that veiling customs continued to be significant. Roman women, especially those from noble families, wore veils to denote their status and respectability. The practice was so ingrained in Roman society that it was adopted by early Christians as well. Early Christian texts and art often depict women with veils, indicating that this practice was seen as an appropriate expression of piety and modesty. As Christianity spread throughout the Roman Empire, these customs were carried with it, further cementing the role of veiling in religious life. How do you think the adoption of veiling by early Christians influenced the spread and perception of Christianity? Did it help integrate the new religion into existing cultural norms, or did it create new challenges? Let's discuss. Thank you for staying with us through this exploration of veiling practices from ancient times to the present. We've seen how something as seemingly simple as a headscarf can carry deep cultural, social, and religious significance. It's fascinating to see how these practices have evolved and persisted over thousands of years. If you enjoyed this journey, please like, share, and subscribe to Celestial Chronicles. We love hearing your thoughts, so join the conversation in the comments. Let's keep exploring these intriguing topics together. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll continue to uncover the stories that shape our world. Until then, keep questioning and keep exploring.